Hello all, this is Morgan with Ballet Austin. Uh, we're gonna do some Matt Pilates today. Uh, normally I teach a Matt Pilates class 9.15 Saturdays, and I do a lot of reformer privates and reformer Sunday morning as well. But yeah, we're gonna do Matt today from home. Uh, so find some space, make sure there's enough room for you to lay down. If you don't have a Pilates mat, just be careful for with anything if it hurts your back or knees, if we do any knee work. Um, Carpet would be better than hardwood, but if you have a mat, definitely roll that up. All right, so before we get started, let me put my hair back. Got some camo today. All right, so, if you have, we're gonna use just a single prop today, nice and simple. Everyone has something at home that you can use, either a towel, or I'm using my favorite flannel, personally and then you're just going to be able to hold it like this. So it's not doesn't need to stretch, just something to kind of hold the lats in place. All right, so just find that, and then we'll go ahead and get started. All right, let me scoot back so you can see me a little better. All right, today let's start in parallel. So just hip distance right here. We're still feeling that nice wrap around the glutes, lift in the core wide across the chest bones. Let's start with some head isolations. So just go to the right, back up, to the left, and up nice and gentle. We're just warming up here, right, and left, right, and left. Feel a nice deep stretch at the neck here without letting anything change here, finding the breath already. All right, we're gonna go forward gently, and back up. Let's not go exterior yet or into extension yet, rather, and down, and up, and down. We're gonna have a little roll down here with this nod. Roll down, and up, so keep this stable here, pulling up, and out. The tailbone reaches down towards the floor. You curl, keeping the shoulders wide. I don't wanna see the shoulders hunching forward like this, but they're staying in place like that. And up, down. Just open up the spine, open up the chest. And one more like that. You can spread a little bit wider with your feet here. All right, so we're gonna think kind of isolating, starting at the hip. You can kind of think like a snake. So you go to the right and then to the left. Good, so you start here, vertebrae goes to the side falling and you follow back. Good, just trying to open up the sides, get the spine moving before we start doing all of our hard stuff. All right, keep going, you can have hands down to your side if you want. Side, side, side. And a little bigger, side, side. And last one, good, all right, come back up to center. Let's bring the hands behind the head here. So nice and gentle, don't push your head forward. Still in a little uh, nice open position with the feet. Just pull it together and then back up. So as you do this, I don't want you to hunch forward like this. Same thing with keeping the back engaged. So you're kind of pressing down with the elbows like this. And back open. Good. And in. And open. And also you can get the elbows to touch without hunching the back. Good. And down. And open. Now I'm going to add a little extension and open and together and open just gentle opening up the chest towards the ceiling open and in and open one more in and open all right good hands on your shoulders we're going to do just elbow circles here the shoulder girdle nice and warm and four and five let's reverse and five Four, three, two, one. And you can roll out the wrist a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and grab your prop, which if it's a towel or a shirt, whatnot, anything here, you're gonna hold it right out in front of you. So flat back, you bring it down, then bring it back up. So the tendency is gonna be to stick the ribs out like this and kind of arch the back so you want to make sure you keep all of that under control and almost like you're pulling out just a little bit to engage these muscles 
Good. And up. And down. Up. And down. Lift the chest. Up. Lower the ribs. And down. One more. Up. And down. Good. All right. You can lay that next to your mat. We'll use it a little later while we're down there. A few more things to warm up here. We're going to go into a wide second position. So your feet are extremely rotated. You don't have to be like a ballerina, just a natural rotation here. Lifting the core, wrap around the glutes. You can have your hands on your hips if you'd like. You can do some plies. So just a little bend, bend, and up. And bend, and up. While you're doing this, making sure the tailbone doesn't come up. Nothing in the pelvis is changing here. So if you're being stuck in between two panels of glass in the front and in the back, and up, back, and down, or sorry, there's, I said up, I meant down. Pull up while you go down, how, how about we say that? We're gonna stay down here. All right, feel the inner thighs engaged, the glutes wrap around, the core lifted, hands behind the head, side bend, and up, and side, and up, side, and up, side, and up, keep going, side, and up, reach out, side, and not making sure you're not sitting into one side, keep yourself even, last one here, arms to the side, little twist, and up, same thing, keeping the hips completely square, don't let the knees twist or the hips twist, you're twisting from above the waist, growing tall out of the hips, it's like spine twist, but we're standing, in a squat. Go. And one more each side. And side. All right, hands here. Let's get the glutes going. We're gonna pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's do 10 more and 10, nine, eight. Lifting up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way. All right, shake it out. Good. All right, let's move on here. So I'm going to lower the camera down so you can see my trusty mat there. Back there is my fabric that I'll be using later. All right. So you won't be able to see my head for a little bit, but you'll see it for most of it, okay? All right, so we're going to stand at the very back of your mat here. If you want to go into Pilates V, that'd be great. Arms are going to reach towards the ceiling. So we're scooping the belly in here. We're going to curl over. Relax, take a breath. And exhale, stack back up. Pulling the shoulders into place. And back up. And scoop forward. Good. Relax for a second. And roll up, exhale. Again, pulling the shoulders back into place. And down. Good. All right, going to parallel with the feet. So you can put your hands down. If not, you can be up here, and then you're going to bend and then touch. Bend the knees. Walk forward. Here. Good. And we'll just gently sit down. Just a nice little dismount to the floor. All right, so we're going to start with our roll down today. Just feet out long. If you need to have a little adjusted roll down, you can always use your arms to help, but we still want it mostly in our abs. We're just going to do full on roll down today. Otherwise, sitting up tall through the obliques, reaching up tall, and you're going to roll down. Start by tucking the pelvis, reaching out, and reach up. And exhale. All right. Do one more like that, and down. If you can, while you're down there, grab onto your fabric. Let's try it with the fabric here. Pulling the lats wide, and reach up. Good, exactly. Take a little step forward here, and rolling down. Keep the shoulders wide, just like earlier. Pulling out slightly on the fabric. And exhale, scoop. Reach up, and back down. Let's go a little quicker, and down. And up, and down, and up, keep the back reaching tall, down, and up, 
And when we're all the way down, good. All right. Bring yourself forward. Arms are gonna start um, with the fabric still overhead. I'm gonna go into some bridging here. So already you want to make sure the ribs aren't sticking up. You're pulling the ribs down. Almost feel the lower abdominals engage. All right, arms are up, so you don't get as much help from them. From them, you're gonna curl up, lift. And back down. And curl up. And down. Okay, hold on a second. Sorry. And up. And down. All right, we good. And up. And down. I'm going to add the arms. As you curl up, keep them up. And then come down. Good. Keep the chest lifted up. And down. And up, and down, and up. All right, I'm gonna add a sit up. As the hips go down, we sit up, reach the towel past the knees, and back up. And inhale up, and up. Do one more just like that. Last one. And stay up. All right. Pull the arms up. And, and two. And three. Four. So you can curl higher as the arms come back. But don't lower down as the arms go up. And, and two more. And last one. And all right, so from here, let's come all the way up. Let's go back down. So let's go from here. Let's sit up into tabletop. Arms here, inhale. Exhale, curl up. Go to our hundred and tap. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Curling high. Last one. Come up. Right, into rolling like a ball. Let's hold on here. Go down. And back up. Hands on the outside. Knees are going towards your shoulders. Rolling up and down, still keeping the shoulders wide. And if you don't have a mat, be careful on this one, or you can just sit it out. You don't want to hurt your back doing this, of course. And up. One more. We're going to balance on our pelvis here. Into teaser. Lift up straight. And slowly. Down. Good. Awesome. Take a break for a second. Bring your feet down here. And keep going with some abs here. Just keep the upper body relaxed. Make sure the shoulders are open, but the ribs are pulling down. All right. One at a time. Right foot. Tap and and two and three and four and five six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. To the side, right, and left, and right. You can make them bigger if possible. Oof, the back just cracked. <laughs> Feels good. And right, and left. One more each side, and right, and left. Both feet down and up. One. And two. Shoulders wide. And three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. 
Rest for a second, hold your knees in. We're gonna go into the five series. Once you're ready, single leg stretch and 10. Alternating one, two, keep the elbows wide. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Double leg stretch in, open, and circle. Open, 10 of these. Three, and four. Five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and scissor straight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, double legs down and up. And two, three, four, good, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, make sure you're breathing, ten, and crisscross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and relax. Good. All right, just take a nice breath here. Let's lay down, relax. All right. Good. All right, we're going to go to some swanning now. So I'm going to flip over. I don't want it to be this way for the swan for whatever reason. Right. <clears throat> so going on to your belly, legs out behind you, straight. <clears throat> Let's start with a simple swan. I like to just do a nice basic, basic swan to make sure we have the mechanism right. All right, so from here, you can press down just gently and think of pulling forward like a caterpillar or something like that. All right, so from here, long back, glutes engaged, obliques engaged, belly lifted up. Now lift up, exhale, and back down. Like, like an airplane taking off forward, back down. So you're not going straight up, going out and up, elongate the spine. And down. Up. And down. And one more like that. And down. Bring the hands behind your head. You can come up. And and up and down up and down stay up and lower into a child's pose for a moment. We're gonna keep going with our swan though in just a second. Alright. When you're ready, you're gonna reach back, grab onto your fabric, wherever it may have gone, climb back forward into the swan position. Arms in front of you this time. All right, so it's gonna be a lot harder. You have the weight up here, but you still wanna feel that pulling out, the lats pressing down. All right, here we go. Pulling out, open up the chest, and reach out, and back down. So if you can reach the fabric to touch whatever's in front of you, reach, and down, and reach, down, two more, exhale, and down, last one, and down. All right, good. take a rest. Bring yourself back up, and take this fabric away. Not quite done on our bellies here. We're gonna go into some knee stretches here. All right, so down on here. So we're gonna start here, then kind of drop the shoulders down, lift them back up. So we're gonna try to find those lats. So you're gonna see my scapula, the backbones are releasing, and then they're coming into a place that's workable. This lets it hang out. Then eventually we're gonna come up to a nice beautiful spot here. So the hips are just slightly lifted up off here. You can do single knee kicks. So you have one kick up and and left, 
Now we're using the hamstrings. Good. And switch. And right. And left. And right. And left. Two more times. Right. And left. All right. Fold the fingers behind your back. Feet in parallel. And both legs. We have three bends. One, two, three. Come up and back down. Good. And one, two, three. And reach up and down. Two more times. Two, three. Feel the hamstrings, glutes up and down. One, two, three. And up and down. Gently go back into your child's pose. Good. Not quite there. We're gonna do one more thing on our belly here. So just lower yourself down. So you can have your hands like this on your forehead. Lower down. And turn this way so you can hear me for now. Do some leg lifts. We're gonna go right leg, left leg. We'll do both legs. We'll do beats like that. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. And right leg. Left leg. And right. And left. Let's do 10 alternating. And right. Left at 6. And 7. 8. 9. 10 both legs. Let's do 10 with both legs. Be careful not to crunch your back. Reach it out long. And 2. And 3. So even if they come off like half an inch, that's great. 4. And 5. 6. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to keep up. Do 20 beats. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Relax. One more child's pose here. Good. All right. That's enough extension. We did a lot today. So just shake it out. All right. We're going to switch back on to your bum. You're going to sit with your feet wide here. So we're going to go into a spine stretch forward, one of my personal favorites. I do it almost every class. So lifting up just like we have been, pulling up out of the hips wide across the chest. Let's go ahead and reach back, grab our trusty um, flannel <laughs> or whatever you guys have. All right, so from here, you're gonna reach the towel forward and come back up. So making sure not to close off the chest. Let's see if I can. And back up. This one feels good today. All right, and exhale. So bottom of the spine goes forward, and the crown of the head goes forward. Middle of the back goes back. Let's do two more. And one. And one more. And good, all right. Once again, you can put this away. We're gonna go into your neck pull. So we have our hands here. Let's just start standing. Let's do our combination, or exercise rather, we did while standing. Let's bring them in, and bring them out. Abs should be engaged here, because you're lifting up so high. And four, here on my face. <laughs> and side, and four, side. One more time, forward. This time you're gonna curl forward, knees to elbows. Come up, widen. So you can go back with a flat back. And when you can't anymore, roll down through the spine. All right, elbows back together. Exhale, scoop. And bring the forearms down, forward. Open up straight. And straight back. And roll through. Good. Elbows back together. Exhale, up. Good. Extend out. 
All the way down and reach out. And down. Elbows together. Up. Last time. Let's go forward a little bit here. Go back. Last time. We're going to come up. All right. We're going to go to open leg rocker. So just like rolling like a ball. If this one's going to be too difficult, because it is a pretty hard one, just go into rolling like a ball. Otherwise, grab one leg, grab the other leg. So you're in that crawling position. You roll back and exhale up. And back. And so try to find that balance. Again, rolling like a ball is just as good. But if you want to try the advanced version, here you go. Up and back. Up. Good. Bring the legs together. Teaser again. And down. All right, we're going to go to jackknife. Another difficult one here. But why not? Legs are together. You'll lower them down to start from here without letting the shoulders come forward. You lift up and back down. If you can't do a lift that big, that's just as good. You can also just do a little lift, boop, just like that. And up and resist down. Good. And up and resist down. Good. Let's do two more. Up, resist down. And up, use the triceps in the back. And down. Good, all right. Take a breath, that was hard. I'm breathing hard too. All right. So we're gonna go into some clams, some other uh, glute and leg stuff here. So I'm gonna lay on my left side. Few options here for you. This one, I'm referring to this part here, here, here. So today I'm gonna do it here, just because I really wanna think about my oblique today. But this is just as good, because you can still think about your oblique here and here. This one's going to be your hardest option. If you choose this option, don't do this. So you're supported in the lats right here, in the back, and in the um, obliques. So we're going to start with some clams. I like to put my hand on my hip. Legs are slightly forward. And from the glute, you're going to open and close back. Two. And three. Four. Wrapping around five, keeping this engaged six, seven, and eight. Make sure that we're not closing in. Nine, and turn around 20 of these just for funsies. 11, and 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. 17, 18, 19, and 20. I'm going to switch down here because I'm feeling a little strain in my neck today. All right, so legs are still just slightly in front of you, not too much for this one. We're going to go into what we call a retire. So you're going to lift the toe up to the side of the knee and then back down. So if you're a dancer, you might know what this is. Otherwise, just try to imitate this as much as you can. So you're turned out, so the knee goes towards the ceiling, and then back down. But you don't want to sacrifice this hip lifting like this, or opening up. Just a natural turn out, and down. All right, let's keep going. And five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. All right, this time we're going to go to double pay. So you're just going to stay up, open, and close. And two, and close. Good. And three, and close. Still lifting up here. Four, and close. And five, reverse. Grand but ma, envelope, and extend out, down. Good. Just for five. And three more. Three, 
and two, and one. All right, good. So we're gonna do some inner thighs. I'm gonna start with the foot planted here. I like to have a rotation here. You can do it in parallel if you'd like. I'm gonna do rotation. Lift up and down. And two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna make a little harder. Both legs are gonna come up. One, you can go back to the other version if this isn't gonna happen today. And three, four, Five, six, seven, feel the core, eight, nine, tenth one, stay up, ten beats, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, and rest down, good. All right, let's shake out everything, we'll flip to the other side, just pick yourself up, and turn to the other side, so whatever you did, support your head. On the other side, do that. If it was here, if he was here, if he was here. Any of those work just as good. I started up here and then I switched personally. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same. All right. So we have 20 plans. Take a good breath in. And exhale, use the rotators. One, and two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, Eight, nine, ten more, and eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good. I'm gonna switch down here. Still lifting oblique, hitting the abdominals, glutes wrapped. We go into retro. Pull it up and and two. Same principles as the other side. Don't lift the hip. Keep it pressing down. If you want to put your hand here, it almost press down. Intentionally, you can do that as well to make sure um, nothing is happening there. And five, six, and seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right, we're gonna go into développé. So ready? Pull it in, extend it out, and close. Five times. And three. And four. And five. Let's reverse. And open. And two. And three. And four and five. All right, inner thigh. Take a breath. Plant that foot behind. Lift it up again. I did rotate it. If you want to be in parallel, you can do that as well. Two with uh, this leg. Three, four, five, six, seven. I really feel the core on these. Eight as well. Nine and ten. Both legs out long. Right, here's the hard version. You can keep doing the other version if you need to. And two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then stay up. Ten beats. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good. All right. Let's come up. So you can either do this up like this, or you can do this up down like this. I'm gonna sit up today. Really feel that stretch in the back of the glute here. I'll do both sides. I like to twist it over a little bit. A little different stretch there. All right, and switch, whether you're on your back or sitting up like I am, both are equally as good, just get a stretch behind that glute. Close it over a little bit. And I turn it back up. Alright, we're actually going to do some triceps today. Let's put the fingertips towards us. 
lift the hips up. So, not a Pilates move per se, but we can use our principles here. So you can see the hamstrings are engaged and not just relaxed. So you can see mine engaged right there, and the glutes and the core. From here, we're just gonna dip down and back up. And two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, from there, lower down. I'm gonna flip my fingertips backwards so I can really feel the opening of the chest here. We'll go into hip twist. So from here, we're gonna twist to the right. And now think of doing this from the obliques. And three, you're moving from your sides. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, we're gonna do a harder version. If possible, you're gonna straighten the legs out to the right. Ooh, and maybe a little smaller motion, that's okay. Or go back to what we were doing. And four, five, always like to throw some challenges in here. Six, and seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, lower down, rest for a second here. One last thing here, we'll go into a little hip extension. You can have your fingertips back again, if that's more comfortable. Just lift up. And lower down. Let's cross the legs here. You're just gonna reach forward as far as you can. And breathe for a moment here. Relax, exhale. Make sure there's no tension in the neck or shoulders. Flip here, and other side. Same thing, just relax forward here. Like so. And come back up, all right, good. So from here, one more hard one. All right, just gonna come up to standing here. All right. From here, at standing, you're going to bring your feet into your Pilates V at the very edge of your mat. We're going to curl down, four steps up, one, two, three, four, and four push-ups. One, two, three, and four, four steps in, one, two, three, four. If just holding that plank is going to be good for you, don't do the push-ups. Two, three, four, three push-ups. One. Two, three, four steps in. One, two, three, four. All the way up, back down. Four steps out. Guess what? Two, one, and two, and back in. One, last set. All the way down. Four steps out. Two, three, four. One, up, and back in. Good. And roll up slowly. Good. And take a little stretch, lace your fingertips behind you. If it feels good to lean forward, you can do that as well. Just be careful not to fall over here. Things that shouldn't need to be said, right? <laughs> and go into your downward dog. I'm going to just stretch from now to the end of class. Put us into one foot if that feels good. And alternate, so make sure you're not humping the back. Trying to have a nice flat back here. All right, lower the knees down. Let's sit here, I'll face you. Sitting back up. All right. Nice and tall. If this bothers your knees to sit like this, you can always sit down all the way, or you can be standing up for this. It's just a little stretch. Feeling nice and tall still, wrap your hand. Just a gentle pull, don't pull super hard, but just feel the weight of the hand, just enhance the stretch just a little bit. And 
and breathing. Good, you can see the breath happening in my rib cage. Make sure we're not belly breathing and gently the other way. standing here. All right, I'm gonna move you up. We're almost done here. Alrighty, let's come all the way back. Check your surroundings. <laughs> all right. I always like to end with a little balance exercise. So make sure we found our center, found our core, and our support system so the glutes are wrapping around. Let's actually go into, no, let's stay in parallel. My life. Stay in parallel today. Feel the wrap though and the lift, stretch, and strength in the back. All right, let's lift the heels and back down. Good. Nothing should be changing in your torso, in the shoulders, in the hips. Some muscles are going to engage for sure, but structurally, nothing changes. All right. Let's go ahead and bring the left foot up. This is gonna be a little more difficult. You can go back to both feet down if you like. Try to balance up and down. Think of your weight is um, right over the foot here. So your head's right over your foot. Back down, one more. And let's switch. So again, you shift your head right over your foot here. And up, and down, and up. Two more, up, and down, one more like that, up, and down. All right, good. Last thing, let's do a little plie. Soften the knees and ankles. Stretch up, reach as high as you can. Open wide, flat back, and down. Up, reach up. Open, press down, flat back, and then relax forward. One more time, roll up, and reach up, press down, flat back, forward, gently roll up, and exhale. All righty. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I hope you got something out of that. I had a good time personally, so um, hopefully I'll see you around soon. Take care, bye.